I'm emotionally cheating on my husband with a woman from work. I am not op. Original post from R. Relationship Advice by U. Throwaway Borge. Op August 30th, 22. I'm emotionally cheating on my husband with a woman from work. Hey Reddit, long time lurker, first time poster. I could really do with some advice as I don't have anyone to talk to about this. I hope I'm writing this as the correct way. So for some background, I, F31, am married to B, M33. We've been together over 13 years. He's been my first in everything in life. In the beginning of our relationship things were great and we've built a comfortable life together. I guess with the years things have become a little stagnant. But I just assumed that was the natural progression of marriage. Naturally the next step we've been considering is children. We've not been not trying but we've also not been going out of our way to make it happen. However, I am seriously considering going back on contraception because of a new relationship which has begun to unfold. And this is where I need the advice. Six months ago a new woman started at my workplace J. F30. She had come in on a temp role to cover a mat leave. She became popular with the team. She's very chatty, warm and likable and fitted in straight away. We quickly became very fast friends. We hot desk at work but I noticed whenever we are working together. She would always take the closest desk to wherever I was and vice versa. I started to find myself getting that little bit more excited about going into work because I would get to see her. There is never a dull silence when we are together. We are always laughing, giggling and just having fun. We take lunch together, have been for after work drinks together. She is just that best friend I've never had before. Even growing up I was quite shy and always envied my little sister with her outgoing nature and having a huge group of best mates. We also have a friendship out of work. She invited me for a hike a few weeks ago and more since. I have been craving to go hiking for so long. V won't go with me. I asked him once for my birthday if we could take one hike. He said he would organize something. He didn't. We had ended up in the pub all day and when I asked when we were going for my birthday hike. He had said he couldn't be bothered. On my birthday. Since becoming friends with Jay we have done lots of outdoor things together which I've always wanted. To do but been too shy, afraid to do alone. We message a lot and have confided in each other. I have told her that my relationship with B feels stale that he doesn't want to do anything together. And if I suggest something different, he just says I can go without him. He just wants to drink at the pub, watch TV, or chill at home. I don't mind that sometimes, but I want more. I like being outside and being busy. I have confided in Jay that all the things we are doing together are things I wish B would do with me. She has always extended the invitation but he always says no thanks. Obviously as our friendship has deepened, I have found out more about Jay. She returned home after living in Aus for 2.5 years. She was in a pretty serious relationship out there with another woman K. 29. However Jay had to return home because her father passed away suddenly. The relationship breakdown was tough for Jay because she had to face the sudden death of her dad but also finish the relationship with K. I have found myself thinking about J more and more, talking about her more and more. One of my friends even made a joke that I have a crush on her. The small group I was with all laughed and agreed. I of course played it off and I felt embarrassed because maybe I had talked about her too much. But it got me asking myself, do I have a crush on J? I find myself thinking about her often. I feel those flutters when I am going to work and know I'll get to see her or get a bit giddy when we are going to meet up. I hug her a little bit longer when we see each other and say goodbye. I get excited when I see she's messaged me. I have even dreamed about her. A couple of weeks ago it was my birthday. It fell on a Monday. 
so not a very exciting day granted. I'd already arranged with my parents to see them the following weekend for belated presents cards. My husband was extremely busy Monday. He had said he had a big meeting on. Anyway, I didn't get an acknowledgement, a card, a text. I went to work Jay had already arrived handed me a gift bag and card inside were some of my favorite chocolates from a handmade place down the road which is well known I love. Also not cheap. And a few other very thoughtful and personalized little things that only someone who knows me would think to get. She even took me for lunch and got me a little cake from my favorite bakery. I didn't tell her about my husband but when she asked what were our his and my plans for the evening, I didn't know what to tell her. I made an excuse and moved on. When I drove home that night, a little part of me had worked up expectation that perhaps he had arranged something special for when I got home, maybe even a surprise party. I had even stupidly convinced myself this was the case. So much so I was really excited. When I walked through the door, nothing, not a damn thing. He was slobbed in front of the TV drinking a beer. He even had the audacity to say, You're a bit late aren't you what are we having for tea? Translating to, What are you going to make? I told him, Forget it, I'm going out. He turned to look at me and was so pissed saying he'd had the worst day at work and was starving. I didn't say a thing. Just got in my car and drove off. I drove straight to Jay's. Needless to say, she was very surprised when I rocked up but welcomed me with open arms we cracked open a bottle of wine and she ordered a takeaway and she got a few giggles out of me once I had calmed down. She didn't bad mouth my husband once. Just listened. My phone started blowing up. My husband. Apologies. The penny had finally dropped. My mom was also calling so I put two and two together in that she had reminded him what day it was. The rest of the week I was flooded with flowers. Gifts from my husband. His way of apologizing. Offers to do the things I enjoy doing. The works. We have the weekend at my parents to celebrate my belated birthday but it all feels fake and awkward. From him. At some point the topic of kids gets brought up. My husband proudly exclaims, it shouldn't be long, and winks around the table. I feel sick. And so here I am. I know I am already emotionally cheating on my husband with Jay. And I don't even feel sorry. The more I think about it the more I realize how neglectful he has been of me. How I do everything in my power to please him. Make him feel special. Sacrifices I've made to make him happy and valued. And I have had nothing in return for literal years. In the space of a few months Jay has made me feel more special and wanted than he has in the last five years and without even trying. I think. And if I am being honest. Yes I do have a crush on her. She really does give me butterflies and giddy buzz I have never ever felt in my life. I find I am thinking about her. Missing her when I'm not with her. I feel crazy for feeling this way but I have never felt like this about anyone ever. I don't know what to do Reddit. Even if I did split from my husband there is no guarantee Jay will even feel the same way. I know she is still hurting from her ex and maybe she just sees me as a friend. Or maybe she has been what I needed to see I deserve more. Or, do I continue with my husband? Really really try to make it work even though I feel like I've tried everything and things change. For a week or two but slip back to the same old ways. Do we have a baby? Would it bring us together? Oh I don't know. I'm so sorry for the babbling but I am at a loss. I have nobody I can speak to about this so even one tiny comment could help me right now. I will try to answer any questions. Thank you. Info. I have tried to communicate with him numerous times that I am unhappy with our life. We tried counseling three times but each time he quit saying it's a waste of money and that he's happy. I have literally begged him to do some of the things I like. 
and to meet some of my needs and he will try for a week or two at most a month before we fall back to the same old tempo. Relevant comments. From you, Vanman32. Well if you're asking if it's right to have a baby, then no. You're uncertain what to do and kids are a major responsibility. That being said, don't stay with your husband if you're just gonna use him as a contingency if things don't pan out. With Jay. Not fair to him. Also. You don't really know Jay. Yeah it's been 6 months but you don't even have a relationship with her besides just being friends. This seems more of a greener pastures mindset more than anything. Another thing to consider is you've never been really single as an adult. Perhaps it might be time to either seek out counseling with your husband if you want to save the relationship or just get divorced and stay single for a while. An NBSP. Response from Op. Thank you. I don't think a baby would be a good idea either. We did try counseling but he gave up on it three times saying it's a waste of money because he is happy and didn't get what it was for. I wouldn't use him as a contingency if I decided to pursue something with Jay. If she wanted that too I would tell my husband and move away from the marriage. I feel guilty enough for the emotional cheating let alone something physical. You're right though. Maybe I do need time alone. Thank you. An NBSP. From you, CDD Coden. Your comments remind me of the walk away wife syndrome. These wives try over and try to get their husbands to listen but the husband takes them for granted and basically ignores them and this causes deep resentment, where the wife eventually checks out of the marriage and plans her escape sometimes years down the road after the kids are grown, etc. The husband though is completely shocked about the divorce because the wife had stopped complaining so he thought the relationship was going great. While you hope this wouldn't be necessary, it is possible your husband may need the consequences of actually seeing divorce papers before he is willing to do the work on himself to change. As it sounds like all other efforts didn't work. Going through the motions with a lawyer will be the real deal for him. As he will see what happens if assets are divided. That you are ready to walk. Etc. Here is an article from a psychologist that explains that sometimes the husbands do make great second marriage husbands. But she has to convince the wives to first give it a chance. Because they checked out of the relationship a long time prior. And now that the husband truly understands how serious the wife is on leaving. HTTPS www.psychologytoday.com slash us slash blog slash divorce busting slash 200803 slash the walkaway wife syndrome. Secondly, you should let him know that this issue resulted in your attraction to another person at work. Someone who is giving you what you need. Where he falls short. This makes it his problem to deal with as well. It gives him the opportunity to do better. You both need to work on your love languages together. Read The 5 Love Languages by Gary Smalley. And if successful, your crush may go away on its own. This of course also depends on you and your friend not crossing boundaries. Such as showering you with your love language. S. There was a lady on Reddit who said that an unattractive co-worker kept coming by her cubicle and saying inappropriate things like good morning sunshine pretty soon she realized she was developing a crush she and her husband read up and worked on their love languages and she realized hers was words of affirmation so she and her husband worked on that and she stopped the co-worker from being inappropriate and pretty soon her crush went away there are plenty of resources out there that your husband can review to work on his game with you here is one that you can share with him to get him on the road to improving himself and his relationship with you. HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch V equals NCLYCJI 33 volts 4 Working on your marriage is something you can do together. While it takes time and effort, 
Many are successful you just have to get him to a place where he understands this is necessary. Hopefully, he can eventually be motivated to work on himself and be a better partner. Discussing the emotional connection with your friend and showing the consequences of divorce might just be enough to get the ball rolling in the right direction. This is a true test of your relationship. So treat it as such and give him the opportunity to improve. Put your foot down if needed it is past time to take things to the next level and make some demands but then recognize and reward him when you see improvement. One other thing I might mention when you do develop feelings for another. That can warp your sense of reality. How you think. And how you feel about your so. Because of limerence. You are essentially replacing your so with your AP as your primary emotional connection and this is devastating to the primary relationship. Google the 11 steps to an emotional affair. So appropriate boundaries are needed. In order to give your marriage a chance, you may need to go and see with your friend. You certainly don't want the guilt associated with cheating something you have no control over on. When that might happen and how it will affect you later. Just be aware that cutting the emotional ties may be necessary with your friend if you are to be fully invested in your marriage right now. Or it could be that a stronger marriage will cause you to not be so strongly emotionally connected with your friend. A crush. You and your husband will have to work through that and come to a resolution that you both agree on. As this third person has become a threat to your primary relationship. An NBSP. Response from OP. Wow thank you for such a long thought out response. I really appreciate it. To your note on love languages. I am well informed on this. In therapy we went though them. Mine was time spent together doing things his as acts of service. I already felt like I filled his love language to the brim but as our homework was to try and fulfill each other's love languages. I went above and beyond. Even though I work full time. I had the house clean and tidy from top to bottom. Meals ready or packed three times a day. I even did all those extra things like those small jobs he didn't get round to doing but I could also do for him. I even redecorated his chill out room to his favorite color on all my only days off in the week. I ran baths for him at the end of the day. Hell I even gave him massages without any asks for reciprocation. In return I got a slapped ass and good job babe. All I wanted in return was a day trip somewhere new for a picnic and a hike with him. He begrudgingly agreed after two months of my everyday day extra effort for him. We went for a walk around my neighborhood for half an hour but had to get back because his mate had invited us for a barbecue. I said, I thought we were going to go for a hike together and a picnic. He thought a walk around the block and his mate doing a barbecue was sufficient. When I blew up at him because I was so distraught and exhausted after all I had done and he couldn't even give me a day. He told me I was overreacting and I hadn't done anything out of the ordinary or extra for him anyway. When we went for counseling that week and our therapist broke it down for him he said he felt attacked and unappreciated because he had made an extra effort and set aside time for me when he should be relaxing on his time off. I was gobsmacked. He then quit that therapist and said she didn't understand our situation. I have honestly tried, but I fully take on what you have said. Thank you. Update September 13, 22. Update I'm emotionally cheating on my husband with a woman from work. Hello again Reddit. I had a few people ask for an update from my original post so here I am. And I could do with some more advice. A lot has happened over the last couple of weeks. But overall, I think things are moving in a positive direction. I wanted to thank everyone for your advice. Good and bad it really helped motivate me to where I am now. I sat down and had a conversation with B the next evening. It was a very long night. 
The long and short of it was I told him I wasn't happy and why and that I hadn't been for a very long time. He pretty much deflected everything I had to say. A few of his choice lines included, why can't you just be happy? Quote, all you do is moan, and referring to the birthday incident, I've proved how sorry I am. It wasn't that big of a deal. He refused to go back to therapy saying it was a waste of time and money. I didn't feel like I was getting through it all and eventually admitted I had started to develop feelings for someone else. He immediately jumped to the conclusion I had slept with someone and went ballistic. He had drunk quite a lot by this point and smashed a few things in anger. To be honest it frightened me. It took me a long time to convince him I haven't slept with anyone and when I felt like he was listening to me again I explained that my feelings had developed purely from someone who was meeting my emotional needs and the needs that he hadn't met for the last five years enlisted said examples. I don't know if it was down to the drink, but he got incredibly nasty, calling me names, continued to smash things, accused me of sleeping with people and then started grabbing stuff of mine and throwing it around. I think to insinuate packing up my stuff to leave. I called my mum to pick me up. My decision was made. I was done. With or without Jay. I was done. I've been staying at my mum's ever since. My family went to retrieve my stuff. V has been blowing up my phone with back and forth of calling me every name under the sun. To begging me to come home and saying he will do whatever it takes but. He told me everything I needed to know within the first 30 minutes of our talk. The last 11 days have felt very surreal but overall. I am at peace with my decision. My friend is a solicitor and is helping with the legal stuff. So, on to Jay. She has been supportive and kind. I almost told her how I was feeling a few times but she has had some news herself. Her ex-GF has been trying to reconnect with her to see if they can give it a second go. Jay's ex is offering to come to the UK or wants them both to go to NZ. I don't really know where Jay's head is at. I do know that she is hesitant for many reasons. Whether I'm one of them or not. I don't know. I really really want to shoot my shot. But I am absolutely petrified. I truly do believe there is something between us. Arg I just don't know. Should I just tell her? Or should I leave it and let the situation with her ex play out? TL, Dr. Husband and I separated. Unsure on if I should pursue the relationship with the woman from work. Relevant comments. From you, Crayon Eater Maine. Girl I am gonna be honest with you. You went so far only to stop now? Tell her she deserves to know or else you always be hoted by the what if I had told her how I feel. Would life be different? So just tell her and come with an update cause I am invested in this I wanna know how it ends. Response from op. Thanks for the advice. Oh my goodness my heart gets crazy just thinking about telling her but I think you're right. Okay when I've gathered enough courage I'm going to tell her. I'll definitely update. Reddit has been immensely helpful. We'll see. V sounds like a real charmer. I think there's a good point about Op never being single as an adult and it sounds like Jay has a lot going on. We'll post with an update once this resolves. Leaving B is a good idea from the sounds of it even if he did drastically improve his behavior it could always slip back to his poor treatment of the relationship, though at the same time, it is probably too early to try to have more of a relationship with Jay as Oop will be desperately seeking solace from her failing relationship. Not to mention the complications with Jay being a co-worker. It was dangerous for her to tell him about Jay that was not good advice, read it. I've got to say. I am not fan of that long comment that was attached. It was all. What you feel might not be real and how this should be wake up call for husband but she has to be. Willing to put effort and cut off her friend just for some potential change of heart by husband who. Will be backed into corner. 
while so far he was putting no effort at all for at least last five years and now she should be the one to get rid of friend educate herself and work with him to save the marriage i feel it was putting too much hope into potential miraculous change if she gives it a chance he should be rewarded for possible small improvements after years of resentment and she should give up friendship that gives her more happiness than the marriage did in years it appears no i don't like that woo that linked article pissed me off if these women would just give their poor husbands a chance to show how very sorry they are the change is always sincere and permanent yeah just like how this guy shaped up give me a freaking break i feel so irrationally angry at the one commenter who wanted her to try again to save her marriage i mean dude did you read the post even if oop's side is biased that's not someone you want to stay married to why the hell would anyone want to be with someone who has to be reminded that they should care about you that's just pitiful oof emo oop actually shouldn't tell jay until she hauls her ass into therapy first when you come out of a traumatic relationship rebounding onto a crush can be such a recipe for toxic disaster and what's worse it could be a toxic relationship where neither partner are villains just very bad for each other at x point in their lives butterflies can easily be i am so happy i'm actually being seen as a person feelings mistaken for love especially if you're lonely and isolated does oop not have any other friends i hope oop gets some solid therapy first because frankly you're not going to be a good or stable partner if your hetero life just blew up in shambles because of abuse and this is your first queer relationship jay would have to bear the weight of so much from oop when they've only known each other months and oop hasn't even learned yet to support her own weight emotionally it's not fair to jay at all me reading the title once again i am asking reddit to understand your allowed friends me reading the post once again i am asking reddit to understand your allowed friends but this time with more throw the whole man away like she could definitely date the co-worker co-worker sounds awesome but you're allowed to have friends bestie i am worried for oop stbx is dangerous and this is the point in a dissolution when things can turn violent thank goodness she's not pregnant blown away by the commenters on the original post talking about how she can save her marriage when it's clear that she's just fighting the sunk cost fallacy and he couldn't care less i mean is this even emotionally cheating it's not like she was totally checked out of the marriage. Jay came along. Op spent loads of time with her while pretending everything was fine. Then left husband for Jay. Op was making active attempts to make things better with her husband and help them move forward to a place where her emotional needs were being met. He refused. Repeatedly. And as time went on. Having those feelings about someone else made her realize her husband was that in name only and wasn't a real partner at all. Which made her appreciate Jay more and realize that Jay has a lot of what Op actually wants from a romance and consider her a potential partner. Honestly, I'm sad that Op has been so starved of emotional well-being and care for so long that she perceives what she did as cheating. She literally just had a friendship blossom and then potentially turn into something more. All the while she repeatedly tried to rescue her marriage. The more you get to know her husband the more you realize she would never be happy in that marriage. Again, even when confronted with his own shortcomings he could only deflect and be abusive. I feel sorry for his next victim. Good God. That husband is an idiot and asshole. From what Oop is saying it would have been easy for him to turn things around with a bit of effort. And instead he goes ballistic. 
I'm actually curious for his side of things. He seems so overwhelmingly idiotic here and usually never that easy. He had drunk quite a lot by this point. I feel for Oop. But who the hell decides to have a serious conversation about their future when the other person is super drunk? Flippin' heck. I hope there's another update to this story. I'm dying to know if they end up together or not. I really wish people would stop saying she's an exception to the cheating is wrong rule. Oop needs to move out and move on. If after her divorce is done and she feels ready to date. Sure. Tell Jay and see what happens. It would honestly be hard to know what to do if my married best friend who was never JNTO women. Suddenly said she had feelings for me and was divorcing her husband. I'm also not sure why some think Jay is interested in her. Everything they did sounds like stuff you do with your best friend. Especially if you're still getting over your ex. His love language said it all. Acts of service. So he should hire a maid and roleplay that he's married to her. This is what stood out for me. Oop went above and beyond. Husband forgot her birthday. Her mother reminded him and it was a week of sunshine rainbows and flowers then back to the routine. Of ignoring Oop and going to the pub. I'm not as strong as her. I would have filed for divorce years sooner. Sometimes people are too heavily interested in the sink cost fallacy. Normally I hate it when people cheat on their partner but when the partner is as despicable as B.I. Completely understand where Oop is coming from and I actually support her decision 100%. I'm hopeful for Oop. Maybe there is something between her and Jay. Maybe not. But ultimately. It sounds like all these steps are indeed positive ones that she needed to make. Regardless of anyone else. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.